Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, 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 look what the cat drug in. What are you doing? I'm just about to do some target shooting with my 1911. No, 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 don't need no 1911. What you need, though, is a wheel gun. 357 Magnum. That's obsolete technology there. This here is tried and true. Been around for over 100 years. 100 years? That ain't nothing. My grandpappy's 115. This has been around since the Cowboys. And you ain't no Josie Wells. Uh, 1911! Wheel gun! 1911! Wheel gun! Wheel gun! 1911! Wheel gun! 1911! Wheel gun! Wheel gun! Wheel gun. Wheel gun. Guys, stop fighting. You can have both. 1911 and a 357 Magnum. The Coonan! Oh, so beautiful. Huh? God bless America! Ah, it's the fifth one this year! What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and I have a quick question for you. What happens when a 357 Magnum revolver gets married to a 1911? You get the legendary Coonan 357 Magnum 1911. So this is a Smith & Wesson 1911 and it is chambered in 45 ACP. And this is a Smith & Wesson model 686 and it is chambered in 357 Magnum. The Kunin 357 Magnum is the best of both worlds. You have the tried and true 1911, but it's chambered in the almighty 357 Magnum. This ain't your grandpa's 1911. It is packing a lot more power. I found out about these things in the early 2000s and I have wanted one ever since. I finally have one and I am very excited to try it out. If you want a more in-depth, a deep dive of this firearm, you need to check out my new channel, Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns. That's where I talk about the firearm after I've shot it and I give you a little more details about the gun and I will be posting a video about the Kunin. 357 Magnum. I will leave a link to that in the description down below. But for now, let's blast some stuff with this thing and try it out. This 1911 is chambered in 357 Magnum, but do you know what my pants are chambered in? 511! The weather is ever changing, but 511 is eternal. Don't let the cold weather scare you from going outside. 511 has you covered with all of your cold weather gear. They'll keep you warm and looking cool all at the same time. They got shirts that go to your wrists. Their jackets have the best zippers. They never jam. They've got backpacks to carry all of your outdoor and hiking essentials because you should always be ready. You know, personally, I really enjoy the cool weather, but you know what I enjoy more? Saving money. And if you also like to save money, 511 is offering a pre-Veterans Day sale right now. And if you use code KYB511, you will get 20% off all non-sale items. That code is good until November 8th, and it's good online or in one of their many retail stores. Again, a big thank you to 511 for sponsoring today's video. Be sure and take advantage of that discount code. And now let's go get to it. So when it comes to unique guns like this, they are very cool, but a lot of times they're not very reliable. I've actually heard a lot of good things about the Kunin, so I'm excited to try it out. I have not shot this one yet, so I feel like the first thing we should do is a mag dump. I'm gonna be loaded up with seven rounds of Underwood ammo, 125 grain, 357 Magnum. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think it's jammed up. You're off to a bad start. The thing is jammed up. Oh, there it goes. Just need a little whack. You just got jammed. <laughs> All right, got it in there. Here we go. You just got jammed. <laughs> ah. You just got jammed. <laughs> You just got jammed. Okay, maybe this mag is just bad. I can only get six rounds in this one, but let's see how it does. All right, that was smoother already. Here we go. Okay, 
that one worked pretty well. So I think we have an issue with this mag. Oh, that's going to be a tricky one. Whoop. Whoop. A little too high for my liking. <laughs> I couldn't tell from back there with my earplugs in, but I shot the tire here. See, that's why people from Kentucky aren't in them there scary movies. Ugly leather face dude. Nice. Speaking of RIP, I really miss my Chipomatic 5000. And if you miss it just as much and want to honor its memory, be sure and check out the RIP Chipomatic 5000 shirts. The profits from these shirts will be used to purchase a new Chipomatic. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description down below. These are only for sale for a limited time. <laughs> Sportsman's Guys is our table sponsor again, so it's okay. I don't even care. I'll just go get another one. All right, well first, we're gonna start out by... about that anyways what I was gonna say is before we start blasting stuff let's be a little scientific I have here a 10% block of clear ballistic gel sent by clear ballistics this block is actually left over from four bore versus <laughs> ballistic gel I also have here a chronograph this magical device will measure the speed of our bullets and it doubles as an alarm clock. So the plan is we're gonna take one shot with a 1911 chambered in 45 ACP and one shot with the Kunin 357 Magnum. For the 45 ACP, I have some Underwood ammo, 185 grain plus P, 45 ACP, and then we have some 357 Magnum, 158 grain jacketed hollow points, also made by Underwood ammo. We're gonna take a shot over the chronograph into the gel, see how fast the bullet is moving, and see how much penetration we get. You're not even hiding. Every single time. Look at him. He's just waiting. He's waiting for a gun to blow up. You're not going to get away with this free meal. Not today. Uh, uh. All right. 45 ACP is first. Let's see what we get here. Twelve hundred and four feet per second. Wow, okay. That is interesting. So we saw something like this happen when we filmed with the slow-mo guys. This went into the gel, but you can see that the round got sucked backwards into the gel. All right, now for the Kunin 357 Magnum. I don't guess we're gonna get a chronograph reading for the 357 Magnum. Uh, 
but we can still shoot the gel. Okay. There we go. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Well, the 357 Magnum definitely penetrated a lot deeper than the 45 ACP. The 45 ACP broke up really fast and penetrated about halfway through the block. The 357 Magnum expanded quite well, but penetrated through the whole block. Kunin! Now that we know that the Kunin 357 Magnum is packing a lot of power, let's put that power to the test. I have a pineapple, I have two gallons of candy corn, and I have one gallon of a Texas delicacy, Demo Ranch dressing. All right, pineapple is up first. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, now let's do, oh, oh. You just got jammed. So much for being reliable. Now let's do the ranch dressing. Oh! so high oh we're not jammed up let's do some candy corn now oh. <laughs> you just got jammed okay well the ranch dressing got pretty destroyed. That is disgusting because uh, that ranch dressing there, that's been in my barn for at least two months. The candy corn was fresh though. <laughs> it's all kind of smooshed together. <laughs> See, that's why nobody likes candy corn. I mean, it's not even a good target. So up next, I have two pumpkins with two liters inside. I have one gallon of relish. I have one gallon of mayonnaise. And I have one gallon of disgusting, old, pure horseradish. It's not supposed to be that color. Okie dokie. Let's go for the pumpkins first. Pumpkin on the left. Oh! actually worked out pretty well. Pumpkin on the right. <laughs> Horseradish. Oh! Ew! It's like a bunch of boogers. It's on my knee. Okay, uh, mayonnaise. Oh, I think I may have hit the slow-mo camera. And now the relish. Oh. <laughs> and it all went over there to hit the slow-mo camera and the slow-mo camera operator. Oh, well, you know, I've pretty much got my fill with the 357 Magnum Kunin, but there's still one more thing that I need to shoot. Ow! Well, that is absolutely awful. There is poop on everything. I got poop on my jello. I got poop on my table. I got poop on my pumpkin. I got poop on my friend from Texas. Well, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun with the Kunin 357 Magnum. I just did not like how much it jammed up on me. 
What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to check out the new channel, Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns. Check out Kentucky Customs. I promise I'm going to be posting a new video over there sometime. Check out Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, X, formerly known as Twitter. All those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time.